Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 4 with a very strange sort of Minecraft-esque music going on in the background. That's been added since we last played. Uh, yeah, not really sure what that's about, but uh, yeah, I feel like I should be knocking down blocks and uh, building things rather than actually driving a train. But uh, here we go, we're going to be having a look at uh, at one of the European routes today, the S-Bahn Vorarlberg route. Uh, which is in Austria, spanning cross-border the busy Vorarlberg S-Bahn line shuttles from quaint German island life to the foothills of the Austrian Alps. All new and bustling ÖBB traffic awaits in Trentsin World 4. Now, as you can see, I'm on level 7 at this. I've played it quite a bit. If we have a look here, you can see I've got a gold, a gold star, and uh, yeah, this is the next one. So today we're going to be driving 46 minutes the R5 from... Oh, this music's getting a bit intense, isn't it? St. Margrethe to Feldkirchen. So we're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to get on that and, uh, and see how far we get. Uh, I mean, we're going to get the whole way, of course, aren't we? There we go. Oh, the music's very, uh, very quickly stopped. So, we're going to be driving the service. Oh, you're going to start out on these short services. Oh yeah, you get a little, you get a little thing every time you do it. Right, okie dokie. So, here we are, we're in the Bombardier Talent, uh, which was the first rendition of the talent. We'll, uh, we'll pop the key in over there, stick the brake handle in, which looks a little bit like a lipstick, uh, and uh, yeah, press Y to open the doors. Now, one thing I have noticed is if you open the left-hand doors, the switch turns to the right. That's not right, is it? Should be over there. And, uh, and likewise, if you open the right-hand doors, the switch turns to the left, unless that's actually the way, but I, with this white marker here, I think that they've done it wrong, uh, which... Yeah, it wouldn't exactly make me fall off my chair. Now, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, Trend Sim World 4 has got some mixed reviews. Now, this, unlike the last video we did, isn't a uh, isn't a paid. Uh, what's the word? Uh, it was a partnership advert doohickey. I've completely forgotten. Sponsored video. Uh, so. Um, so yeah, I don't have a strict brief to work to, I can say what I like now. Uh, but do you know what? I actually have been really enjoying this game, and that's not Dovetail forcing me to say that at gunpoint. I have been enjoying it. But then again, I always enjoyed a little pootle about on Trends in World 3. I can completely understand why you wouldn't want to purchase this, because, as I said in the last game, it's evolution rather than revolution, isn't it? So... It's not a whole new game. It's very much the same game in my mind, with a few little tweaks. So I can completely understand why, for you know, you you wouldn't want to pay all that money for what is essentially the same game. I get that. I completely understand that. See, I'm very fortunate because they sent me a key for it, so I haven't had to pay for it. You know, so it's so for me, this is oh yeah, this is lovely. But I completely understand why you wouldn't want to. If I was in the boat where I was having to pay another thirty nine ninety nine for it, I get it. I I would feel aggrieved. Right, hang on, we'll lock these doors, and uh, and off we go. Oh, hang on, let's let's just not set off until the doors are locked. There we go. Right, full steam ahead. Tell you what we are going to do. We're going to have a little look at the map. So we're up here, quite a long route. We're going to be driving around and uh, and down to. To possibly, I think there. I don't think we're doing the whole route today. Wait, there we go. Right, full steam ahead. Good-looking unit, isn't it? The uh, the talent. Right, we're going to wait until later on in the video to uh, to take a screenshot because I reckon that we're going to get some nicer uh, some nicer screenshots than just coming out of uh, of this place. Yeah, there's a lot of really, really nice runs on this. Uh, there's a couple of little 12 minute runs to pull up and down, little shuttles. I enjoy the little shuttles. Uh, the shuttles are nice. You also get a nice uh, variety of single track running on this, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, they, they, I always find with Trenton World, you see, I do like my European railways. For anyone that knows me, you'll know I love going to Berlin. I love going around on German railways and Austrian railways, to be fair. French railways, eh, not that fussed. For some reason, they just don't seem to appeal as much. Um, but yeah, DB, OBB, Czech railways, love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, really, really do enjoy them. I tend to find that I enjoy this stuff more on Trains in World rather than the UK stuff. Uh, the UK stuff is decent, but 
we've got it on Transim Classic. We've got Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Packs. We've got, you know, we've, we've got a lot of good stuff for Transim Classic. So for Transim World, I'm not really that bothered. Whereas on Transim Classic, there's not a lot of, like, the, the stuff isn't that great to drive the European stuff. It's a little bit like go karty. So, uh, yeah, on Transim World, I love this. I, I could poodle up and down in this all day. And as you can see from the progress I've been making, I have been poodling up and down all day in this. Right, we're, gonna, uh, we're just going to have a bit of break in on this corner now for hard fusach. It is like driving a tram. Has to be said, these uh, these Bombardier talent units are very much like driving a tram. Sorry, I've uh, I've got my coffee with me as well. Every good train driver always has his coffee or her coffee. And uh, so cue periodical uh, unacceptably loud slurping noises throughout the video. UBB, look at the station. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. And open the doors. Lovely. Where are we going? Feldkirch. I do like how they all board in a light. I really do like that about this game. I'm surprised nobody's like come up with any sort of mod, like a script mod that allows that to happen on Trainsim Classic. I mean, I, I wouldn't have a clue how you'd do it or if it's even possible, but you'd think that some sort of Brainiac would be able to, with all the mods we've been able to have for that game, you would think that somebody would have come up with it, wouldn't you? Shall we, uh, shall we have a look at what's happening in the uh, in the passenger saloon? Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Feldkirch, got the, uh, the slidey toilet there. Those are manually operated doors. They're ridiculously light. You feel like because they're, they're, you know, they're a big door like that, they're going to be heavy. Let's pop the blind down so that people can't see what we're doing. Not that we're doing anything untoward, of course, in here. We're uh, we're strictly professional. You know, picking your nose, scratching your bum, all that. You don't want the public to see, do you? Do you know? No, but I always just find that, see, from working in the UK rail industry, where everything's a secret, you know, you can't possibly let the public see what's happening, uh, then... Like in, in Germany and Austria and a lot of places where like on these multiple units you can just see in through the glass. It's very weird for me is that because obviously if anyone sees what's happening the whole railway will cease to exist as we know it. Uh, yeah, the, in the UK we are very secretive about our railway operations and I'm not quite sure why to be honest with you because the people that care about the railway operations, uh, i.e. the enthusiasts, probably know more than the staff anyway. A lot in my case know more than I do. Right, off we go. Lauterach, platform three. Off we go, full steam ahead. Got a little yard on the left-hand side here. It's a pretty grey and miserable day, isn't it? I'm, uh, I'm expecting a bit of rain later. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Floating building, everybody. I mean, I spotted that from here. Flipping heck. Do you know? Maybe there's been a lot of coastal erosion in the night. Maybe there's been a storm. Right, there we go. Up to 130. It's quite difficult working in kilometres an hour when uh, when you usually work in miles an hour. You seem to get up to speed a lot quicker. Right, here we go. Bit of braking. For the 80 and the 60. I like this bit. We get on, uh, on all the sound barriers. So there's two ways we can go here. We can go around to the left. Round to the left is where the little shuttle runs go. Uh, I can't remember for the life of me the name of the station, despite the fact I've done a lot of driving over that. And then we're obviously going round to the right today. So it's like a little triangle now. Ah, 
now turn around. Oh, so we're coming into the station shortly. Ah, here we go. Right, okay, let's have a bit of braking. Another train over there, give him a wave. I've never really cared for these units, to be honest with you, which uh, is probably asking the question, why on earth are you driving it if you don't like them? I don't mind them, but uh, out of the talent units, I've always preferred the uh, the talent 2. Prefer the talent 2 over the talent 1, the uh, the hamster drucker, uh, as they're nicknamed, hamster cheeks. There we go, doors are opening. Busy little line this, isn't it? You'll notice as well I've turned the, uh, the the signaling back on in the top corner. I don't think I had it on when we uh, when we were playing the other route, did I? Did I turn it off? I can't remember. I think I did. I think I did, so that you could just see where the signals were, but you couldn't see what aspect they were. But I've realised I have no idea about European signalling. I tried to do it, and then I went through a signal that had greens on it, and it said I'd gone past a red. I was like, ooh, that's... Hmm... <laughs> I'm still not quite sure what's going on there, whether it was a glitch or whether it's just me that doesn't understand it. So uh, I thought, you know what, for safety, we'll turn that back on. Looks like we're the next train through anyway. Right, there we go, lock the doors. There we go, right, full steam ahead. Oh, we've got a green now. Got a green, everybody. Right, we'll, uh, we'll just leave it at 50% up, uh, up to 60, because I reckon we'll probably get there too quickly otherwise. There we go. Hey, look at that. That was perfect. Almost as if I've done it before, but I absolutely promise you, I've never driven this route in this direction. I drove one going the other way. The uh, the, the route that it gave you before and to drive, it was the exact same route, but obviously going the other way. But uh, it was at about five o'clock in the morning and it was pitch black, which I thought was a little bit odd. Because obviously, you can't see anything. <laughs> It's, I guess the you know the, there's timetable services at that time, isn't there? So I guess it's good that they uh, that they have the timetable services. Right, we are going to. Oh, look at that! Going past the yard, that'd be a nice shot, wouldn't it? Let's uh, let's go out here. See if on the options we can go on photo mode and get a ooh. Ah, <laughs> yeah, ooh, that's nice, ooh, yeah, right, save that, we might get another one later, <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot, a bit more braking, oh, we've got another, uh, another couple of S-bands in the depot over there, Oh wow, the uh, the Siemens Vectron. I like those, but they only seem to operate freight services on this uh, on this route. Which is a bit of a bummer. I'm not very good at driving freight trains. I'm more of a passenger sort of person. Come on, don't overshoot the station. Oh, they're all just arriving. Maybe there's been a last minute platform alteration. Right, yo, so we'll press U and you'll see it turns it to the left to open the right side doors. Hello. Oh, we can't open the window any more than that. Begs the question what the point is.
Right, there we go. Shut the doors. I realise I did that ever so slightly too soon. Oh, I'm terribly sorry you've missed it. There'll be another one. Possibly. Right, off with you. With this being an S-Bahn, I mean, I don't really know much about the route, but I feel like there should be more traffic on this. You know, like, I'm thinking like S-Bahn Berlin, where they're every five, ten minutes. I guess an S-Bahn is just a, yeah, it's, it's like a local train, isn't it? So they don't have to be that often. I guess they could be every hour, hypothetically. But yeah, I, I just have it in my head that it's it's more, you know, it's more frequent. I think this might be a semi-express as well. I think this misses out a few stations. got a yellow. Now I know this is a yellow because it's yellow. Mm. And obviously I can see on the uh, on the screen there that we've got a red. I should really have CIFA enabled but uh, I, I don't really know what I'm doing with it. It'd be nice if the game came with a tutorial on how to use CIFA because uh, obviously it is a signalling system. Uh-oh. Little, little bit of emergency never went amiss. I'm trying to be too cocky now. I hope everybody was holding on. Yeah, you, you've been too cocky with your speed limits. Let uh, with your speed. Let's just, you know, bring it back. Oh, another one. Yeah, I think, I, I really do feel like I'm driving a tram here. I think that there's a lot of demand for, like... Could you imagine if they did like Croydon Tramlink or Manchester Metrolink on this? I think that'd be pretty good. I think that'd be really good, to be honest with you. I quite like Manchester Metrolink on uh, on Tramsim, to be honest with you. That'd be really good, like the Berry to Manchester line or the Rochdale. You know, it'd be really, really good to be able to do that. Full steam ahead. Oh, we've got a green. Can I say one? I uh, I was expecting a red there, and I went hell for leather. Oh, another train. Hell, I said they should be frequent, but I think maybe we're following something. Looks, there's another red signal there again. And those two trains are really close together, aren't they? So maybe, yeah, just maybe we're doing the same thing. Where are, we, where are we now? Hazelstolden. Lovely. Not many here. There we go. Doors are opening. So, where are we now? So, we're stopping at Dornburn, Dornburn Schuren, Hurnums, Goetzis, I make no apologies for the pronunciation, Klaus, Rankweil, and Feldkirch. So, uh, oh, so we've got about half an hour to run now. Lovely. Mm, see, we've got the yellows again for another. Uh, another Another red signal. It's a shame I'm not driving the train in front, there'd be no hanging about then. 
I'll be off. Whoosh, gone. Just go for the old 50% uh, power. I think that train's still in Dornburn. Well, uh, yeah, there's no point rushing, is there? So we're only going to have to slam on for the red. There we go, that'll do. Bit of uh, bit of coasting. Fifty kilometers an hour is an acceptable uh, sort of speed to plod along, isn't it? I reckon if that doesn't change soon, we're going to end up coming to a stand. Okay, so obviously I can see from the top right hand side there that that, uh, that has changed to a green. But we're going to, ah, there we go, we've actually seen the signal now, you can see that on the right hand side there. We're going to drive it properly, you know, like we're actually train drivers. We won't accelerate until we've actually seen it, because obviously this isn't in cab signalled. Hey, I hope we don't lose points because we're late here. They're hardly our fault, we were following something. Oh, this looks like a slightly bigger station, doesn't it? Got three platforms rather than the usual two. And another train. They must have a lot of these talent units then, OBB. There we go, doors are open. I wonder why the platforms are B1, B2 and B3. There must be a reason for that. What, what station are we at? Anybody know? Anyone? Dornburn. Ah, so it doesn't even begin with a B. Hmm. I've not actually found what it is that you do on this yet. Oh. I think that, uh, that train next door's going. Well, we are. There we go. Look at that. Full steam ahead. Oh no, it's not. I thought I heard doors closing. Maybe it was just uh, ambient sounds. Oh, hang on. Look out the front. Come on, that'll help. Dornburn Shuren. So Dornburn, Dornburn must be quite a big place then. It's the biggest place you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you're from the local area. Right, let's uh, let's get slamming on for another station. Full braking. Hopefully we won't slide. Look at that. That was a bit cocky, wasn't it? But we've uh, we've flown in. Leave it on the older hundred, because I think a hundred percent might just get us there. That was pretty good braking. I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, I am just as surprised as you are by my excellence there. It seldom happens, <laughs> it seldom happens, but uh, yeah, happy. I wonder what that means. No hands. He looks surprised as well, he's got a, like, no surprised hands. 
the fact the hand is black and the man is white, does that have any sort of... You'd imagine, like, no trespassing, but that's usually, like, somebody walking. The same sign's over there. I'm assuming it means no trespassing. It just seems a bit of an odd sign. I've never seen that sign before. They tend to use... Well, they use different ones in different countries, don't they? Right, off we go. Next stop, 6.4 kilometres. Ooh, we're going to get up to some speed now. Hornums. Gleis Zvo. Of course, if you're familiar with your German, you'll know it's Eins, Zwei and Drei. But uh, at railway stations, usually they have a platform of Gleis Eins, Gleis Zvo and Gleis Drei. Uh, the reason being for that is that Zwei and Drei sound very similar, so over a, a, an announcement where it can sometimes be a little bit, you know, not 100% clear, uh, they, uh, they can sound very similar, can't they? And if you go to Platform 3 and you actually wanted Platform 2 and miss your train, you can understandably get quite annoyed. So, uh, yeah, on the announcements it's Eins, Zwei and Drei. There you go. You might have learnt something today. Oh, a station. We're, uh, we're semi-express now by the look of things. Look at that. Straight through. No messing. Look at the mountain in the background. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You forget, because uh, obviously I'm, I'm working in kilometres now, that 4.5 kilometres isn't as far as 4.5 miles. I mean, that's just common sense, isn't it? But it is easy to forget, and all of a sudden it's like, whoa, the station's there. I tell you, I really am looking forward to this 142, you know, the Ormskirk route, Ormskirk and Southport route that, they, uh, that they're bringing out. I think, is it just trains that are working on that? The screenshots look absolutely incredible. They really do look incredible. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go into and the, uh, the the photo mode again, just in case, because you know you, you can never have too many. I'm just going to see if we can get a nice shot with the mountain in the background. Ooh, can we can we have a bit more field of view? Ah, it's not quite come out as I wanted it to, but never mind. We'll uh, we'll take that. Lovely. Okay, so we're following something, aren't we? Because uh, we've got a red. So here are our yellow signals. I can just about manage two horizontal yellow signals. Or two horizontal yellow lights are a yellow signal. I can, I can do that. Bit of braking, lovely. Ah, there we go. Now you see, that's obviously green and yellow at the same time. So is that... I, I, I don't get it. I can understand that one on the left is a red. I get that. I really need to sort of spend a bit more time learning my UK... Uh, UK? European signalling, don't I? There's probably people sat there watching, shaking their head like, Joe, it's ridiculously easy. You've just been an imbecile. That may be true. That may be true. I can't... Uh, I can't say either way on that front. Right, Hornums. Hornums. Right. 
TO, yeah, bit of more, bit more braking, lovely. Perhaps I shouldn't be in the uh, in the habit of using 100% braking all the time, but uh, it's not the end of the world, is it? We're running an efficient service here. Excuse me, sir, this is the only train down this way. You uh, you you might want to get on, or you're going to get left behind. Oh, there we go. We've heard us now, yelling out at window. Can't really yell out the window. It don't go wide enough, does it? See again, it's that same sign, isn't it? I imagine that this is a no trespassing sign, like no, don't go past here. Just a very odd sign, isn't it? Hmm. We're modernizing for you. For eine moderne, moderner und zuverlässigere Bahn. Well, I'm not quite sure what the last word means, but, uh... They're modernizing for us. I don't like that word modernization anymore because it's just what the government used to uh, to say we'd like to get rid of staff. Modernization. Hmm. Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan. Next stop, Gertzis. Right, green signal, 160 kilometers an hour, which uh, will obviously, for those of you that are familiar with the kilometers an hour, uh, that will translate to a hundred miles per hour. So we can absolutely get a shufty on down here. Yeah, obviously for some reason we can only do 140 still. Guess it's just one of them, isn't it? Maybe this is the uh, the speed limit of the traction, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a train stop down here, but it doesn't look like we're stopping. Where's the next stop? Good, sis. Lovely. Oh, close the main circuit breaker. I'm not sure why this does this. It's like a neutral section. There we go. Now we can tap power again. It's probably something I'm doing wrong. But you see, this is it. It never told me in the tutorial. Ooh, got a yellow. It never said in the tutorial about this. It literally told you to do that, that, headlights, Reverser, off you go. It never mentioned, like, periodically there's neutral sections. You need to close the circuit breaker again. It, it never said anything. Right, here we go. We'll, uh, we'll coast around the bend again. I reckon that the... Uh, be able to see that red signal anytime soon. There we go, we can see the signal on the other line. It does appear that all these lines are bi-directional. You know, you can run both directions, hence why there's a signal. It's very clever. Very clever. It's so obviously in, uh, in, like, if you get a broken rail, you can just run bi-directional. Lovely. And keep the, uh, keep the service running. Right. Full steam ahead. Gutsis is uh, is less than one kilometre, so we don't need to worry for that red signal, do we? Because that's obviously two kilometre band. It would be nice if you could change that to see further. I've not quite worked out how to do that yet. Because obviously on the uh, on the UK uh, route Doncaster to Peterborough, when you're running at 125 mile an hour, one and a half miles in front of you isn't that far.
Heck, it's a no light stop marker further down. We're going to upset everybody here. We're going right to the end. Oh no! Surely they must, like, stop further down. They don't go to the end. Surely not. I mean, that's one way of upsetting everybody, isn't it? You know, just, just doing that. I mean, all the passengers are down here, look. Look, they're walking down, but they're going to miss it. Surely we'd stop, you know, here, top of the stairs. Sensible place to stop. <laughs> They're all walking down from here as well. I just feel like that's a bit of a, a, a bit of a dickish move to do that. None of them are going to make it. Run! I mean, to be fair, he's walking with a lot of confidence that he's going to make this train. Oh no, they've missed it. Look, doors are shutting. Everybody walk back. So close yet so far. And he's setting off up to a red as well. I say he is, it's me obviously, but 50% uh, power up to a red, so that's then going to sit there. All those people could have boarded. Oh, it's, he's not a very good train driver, this chap, is he? Next station is Klaus. I always think of the little fish off American Dad when we go through Klaus. Nothing. No green. Nothing. Look at that. Mmm. We must be seriously close to whatever we're following, then. They're taking the time, aren't they? Mind you, Klaus is 2.9 kilometres away. We've got... we've only got two minutes to do it. It's not a long time. Wait, there we go, green signal. Lovely. Full steam ahead. We can get there. We can do three kilometres in two minutes, surely. Do you know what? I've not actually tried the American route. Is it any good? Let me know in the comments if you've tried it. I'm, I'm not massive on American railways. You'll know that. You, you, well, you'll know that if you've watched uh, my videos before, but yeah, I'm, I'm not particularly massive on American Railways. So yeah, let me know in the uh, in the comments if it's worth trying the uh, the American room. Point four kilometers. I reckon this red signal is at the end of the uh, at the end of the station. At Klaus. I'm hoping it is because we're uh, we're whizzing up to it very fast. Give him a wave. That's nice, isn't it? When you see uh, another train coming fast round the corner. That's lovely. The train driver in front is clearly not as brilliant as I am here, obviously. Right, hang on, there we go, a bit more. Oh, hang on, we've got a green again, look at that. 
So here we are at Klaus im Vorarlberg. Oh, VTG. We have those on our wagons in the UK, don't we, VTG? You see, um, what is it? Uh, what are they called now? Uh, GBRF. They, they hold those wagons, don't they? Klaus im Vorarlberg. Let's see, where can this go? Usually says, doesn't it? DB? No. They, they usually have a, a doodah. No, it's the locos, isn't it? They, they say on the side, I know this isn't a loco, but uh, it usually says, like, what country it can run in on the side. Oh, hang on. Right, lock the doors. I'm too busy looking around Klaus in Vorarlberg. Next stop, Rankweil. Three minutes, 4.1 kilometers. Easy peasy. I like these bits where the railway is just slightly elevated over, uh, you know, ev over everything else. You sort of feel like you're looking down on everything as you as you're going whizzing past. It's nice. I always find that European railways are very much like being on Transport Fever 2. It's like living Transport Fever 2, isn't it? kilometres, 2.3. I do like being this semi-express service, I think that's awesome. It's going to take us a long time to drive the whole route if we stop everywhere though, isn't it? We'll have a little bit of 50% braking. And we can actually see the station. You can actually you can see the blue blob in the middle of the screen there where we're meant to stop. Rankweil, another uh, another freight yard on the right there. I say freight yard, it's not well, a couple of freight lines. It's not exactly a yard, is it? But uh, it's nice that there's so much track in uh, in European European railways, there's a lot, isn't there? Rankweil. 1C. 3B. Oh, that'll be why, because they've got A, B and C on these platforms for longer trains, haven't they? That's why earlier when I was saying, why are they all B? Yeah, there you go, 1A, 2A, 3A. Duh. Come on, you've been to Europe, you've been to Germany, you know how the platforms work. It's just me being thick. There we go. Right, time to go. Are we all aboard? Lovely. Be nice if we had like, I mean I know that these units don't have it from the look of things, but uh, it'd be nice if, you know how when we're on um, sim rail, you can actually see in your mirrors. It would be lovely if, uh, if we had that function. And of course, with the mirrors showing reflections, these could quite easily pop up with a, you know, show the platform. It'd be quite nice if they did that, to be honest with you. The, uh, the, the cameras worked. Ooh, Feldkirch, our, uh, that's, our, that's our next stop, isn't it? That's, well, it is our next stop, it's our final stop. That's where this train terminates, at Feldkirch. That's what the screens say, anyway. Right, yellow signal. So we'll just plod. Go. 
little bit of braking. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go, another red signal. We've earned our money today, haven't we? With uh, actually driving, not just floating along past green signals. Actually had to think about what we've been doing, haven't we? There's no point actually, yeah, I'm looking at that and I'm looking at the uh, the radar up there. It's saying we've got another red signal, so there's no point as actually accelerating as quick as possible, because clearly, look, you can see a station around this corner. Yeah, station around the corner, so obviously that's where the train in front was stopped. Give him a little wave going the other way there. Oh, a double set, look at that. So they do run in tandem then, I didn't know they did. I've never seen one running in tandem. Oh, there we go, we can see the uh, the yellow up ahead. Oh, and obviously we need to think about slowing down to 60. I say slowing down to 60, we've only just gone faster than 60, but uh, yeah, I need to think about slowing down for a stop. A bit of 50%, that'll do. Ooh, there's quite a few lines around here, isn't there? Feldkirch. Oh no! Oh, that's not a red for us, thank goodness. I thought we were fast approaching a red. It's like, heck, that's not good. We've come so far together. I want my flipping medal now. Another couple of sets in the sidings there. Ooh, going right the way across. This must be the uh, the terminating platform for Feldkirch. Obviously you can continue further as well. This isn't the end of the route. That's uh, another thing that's worth mentioning. It does continue further, much further. I don't know if the passenger services terminate here, but there is a lot more down there, look. Oh, hang on, what's happening? Why is the grass grown in the track? Maybe it has, because uh, it's not despawned, has it? Whoops, never mind. Bung it in a bit of emergency, it's fine. That'll wake everybody up. Terminus, everybody! Right, off you get. Right, well, there we go. That is the end of our video today. Let me know in the comments what you think. Espan Vorarlberg. I personally really, really enjoyed it. Uh, but as I say, uh, do let me know. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do click that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future videos. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.